Hey everyone, Staven here with Prismatic Powders. Today we're going to talk about emissivity, what it is and why it matters. Emissivity is something that we've touched on in several videos, but we've never expanded on it. So now is the time. First, would you go ahead and give those dopamine delivery buttons a tap. Emissivity is defined as the relative power of a surface to emit heat by radiation. It is the ratio of the radiant energy emitted by a surface to that emitted by a black body at the same temperature. All right, that's it for today's video. Okay, just kidding. Let's put that word salad of a definition into some real world context. Think about emissivity as the yin to the yang of reflectivity. The more emissive an object is, the less reflective it will be and vice versa. Now. In the definition we read, that a black body is basically the standard for which we will base our emissivity. It's kind of a baseline because a black surface does not reflect as much heat energy as a shiny or reflective color like chrome. So why is it important to understand emissivity? Well, for powder coating, it all comes down to curing. If you're setting your cure timer according to the PMT, that's bar metal temperature. You could be getting an inaccurate reading based upon your IR thermometer's emissivity setting. So you will need to make adjustments for emissivity on your thermometer. So let's go test this out. So we have a highly reflective color right here, our Super Chrome Plus, and a very emissive one, Blackjack. What we're gonna do is heat our samples up to the same temperature in the oven and see how the readings on our IR thermometer will vary. For the demonstration, the substrate material, time, and temperature in the oven are identical. So if there is any variation, it will only be because of the emissivity. So we got readings on our IR thermometer of 404.7 degrees Fahrenheit on the panel with blackjack and 367.7 degrees Fahrenheit for the panel with Super Chrome Plus. This does demonstrate how the infrared signature coming from a highly reflective surface can indeed give a faulty reading on an IR thermometer. All right, so we've shown how your temperature readings can vary based upon the emissivity of the coating. So hopefully this will arm you with some important, albeit lesser known information to help ensure that you are curing properly. We hope this video was informational and helpful, and we'll see you next time.